Hi, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at uh, a product that I found in the supermarket uh, just a few weeks ago. Matt and Steve's Extreme Bean, pickled beans here. Notice hot and spicy, so my uh, attention was peaked. And I said, well, let's pick these up. Now, you might notice that uh, this is an open jar already. I have sampled some of these already. And I know that's not typically uh, what you're used to on this program. Typically, we open up these products for the very first time, try them for the very first time. But as my good friend Pappy typically says, when it comes to pickled products, you got to let them pickle. So I didn't want to review these right away. I wanted to, of course, in my excitement, open them up and try them. But then I wanted to let them sit in the fridge a little bit and really let them get all the flavors uh, of the uh, of the spices, of course, the vinegar, the salt, and uh, as you can see in the bottom of the jar, plenty of garlic, which I am a big fan of. So this is a product of Canada here, Matt and Steve's Extreme Bean. Let's see what our friends from the uh, north uh, have to offer us here. My first reaction, of course, is the smell. It smells fantastic. Strong smell of vinegar, garlic. Big fan. I pull out the bean, and, and then I'm sort of surprised if you can really get a look at this sucker. I mean, that is an absolutely massive legume right there. Now, I was, of course, picturing something like a dilly bean, if you're familiar. That's uh, like pickled green bean. This, uh, you know, and I don't know what, what exactly kind of bean this is, but it almost looks like a, like a mix between a green bean and an edamame or something. I mean, absolutely massive, almost a Jurassic type of uh, a vegetable there, so... Um, you know, perhaps this is one of those things that the, uh, that the Tyrannosaurus Rex would have uh, feasted on back in the day. But uh, let's let the modern day uh, Tyrannosaurus give it a shot. It's tougher than a jelly bean, a green bean, although not inedible by any stretch of the imagination. But the skin does have some fibrosity to it. Fibrous. Let's get on to the flavor, though. Absolutely excellent flavor. Um, great, strong, vinegar, garlicky flavor. Uh, spicy, yes, not overpoweringly so. I, I think even someone who was into a moderate spice level could enjoy these. I typically judge spice on the level of sweat that I get on my bald spot, and uh, I really don't get any sweat uh, eating these. Um, However, again, the flavor is outstanding. Texture a little strange because of the toughness of the bean. But as you can see, I'm gone for seconds right away. This is a fantastic product. And I'd recommend that you give Matt and Steve's Extreme Beans a try. We'll see you next time.